What's up guys? Welcome to the vlog. We're so excited for this one because this is the Q&A where we're going to share or answer some of the questions that you guys have been asking us. The long-awaited Q&A. <laughs> yes, there have been so many questions and we've been trying to answer some of them in the vlogs, but we posted an Instagram post, Summer posted one on hers, and we asked you guys what kind of questions do you have about what it's going to be like for us moving into an RV with four kids, as a family of six, it's going to be adventurous, fun, crazy. we're scared, it's crazy, like, there's just all these feelings that <laughs> are going through say, us. we don't know how it's going to be. <laughs> we have no clue how it's going to go, guys, and we're, like, we don't have it really planned. <laughs> <And> we're scared. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess uh, we're definitely a little nervous, but I think we're going to do just fine. And yeah. once we get out there, do it a few times, set up the RV a few times, I think we'll be very happy. I think you will be very happy. I'll be very happy. <laughs> So let's start with some questions. Let's start with some questions. Which ones do we have? Should we start with the juicy one first? Let's you guys want to start with the juicy, <laughs> juicy? Who used to say that? Was that? Okay, they, but anyways, yeah. let's start with the question that I think a lot of you guys are probably wondering, especially the adults. I don't know if kids really care, but if you're an adult and you're watching this, one of your questions is probably, what are you guys going to do to have alone time with such a small space? Like, how are we going to be... We already have four kids. We don't need alone time. I'm just kidding. That's that's a good point. That's good. I don't... Unless you want to have baby number five on the road. No, I think I'm gonna, <laughs> no. No, no. I don't know if we'll be able to, babe. You know, the, the groovy family identified that we have an issue with space, and you have they, the woods. They, they mate yeah. in the woods, so we'll just... <laughs> This is so awkward. Moving on to the next question. I wanted to do this question first because I was like, I, I, we don't know. We really don't know. We don't uh, know. The answer is we don't know, but there, I'm sure will be options along the way. I'm sure we'll figure it out. Yeah. Uh, next question. Are the kids getting excited and what are our families thought about us? living on the road. <laughs> so I think the kids are really excited. Um, it did take them a few weeks to get used to the idea. Yeah. So I think the first week... I would say week, Peyton. Yeah, the first week was like, what no. are we doing? <laughs> we're moving into an RV. And like, they gave us a look like we're crazy. And then now, once they've seen the RV and they got to see their little special spaces and... Presley's like, when are we going? Yeah. What day are we going? Yeah. How many more days? <laughs> and then they ask Google, how many days until the date? And then they're like, yay! And then now they're just like, they're. I think they're just ready because we have stuff all over the house, so... We just made it a really, I think, a really involved experience yeah. where we've, they've been helping us clean, they've been helping us with organizing, and picking out things they're gonna bring, so they've been very involved. And I ordered and all those books where it shows like all the fun things to do in California or wherever we're going. And Peyton is so excited. She's like, I want to go here. Yeah. And so she's like, I'm so excited for the adventures. And this is exactly the words from her mouth. She's like, and I'm like, so excited to spend time as a family. So it was pretty cute. It was really cute. I really loved her little answer. And then Presley and Harper, they really don't know. And Hannah, she's like whatever just put me outside because she loves to be outside yeah so and she's I, happy <laughs> and i think like half of our family thinks it's a really exciting fun idea the other half of our idea. family yeah, idea uh, the other half of our family is thinking have you guys lost your mind are you okay do we need to come visit you guys in north carolina just to do a check-in make sure you guys are cool but they know how crazy we are because yeah. we've always had these crazy ideas so yeah. so that's the answer guys the answer is family was like 50 50 i think they're our supportive, kids, so. Yeah, our kids are definitely really excited now and they're looking forward to it. Yes, and we'll, we'll let them talk to you guys a little bit like in another vlog, but all right. One of the biggest questions was, it's kind of a two part uh, question, I guess. How are we planning? Like, are we planning where we're going and where are we going first? So I'll take that. Yeah. Yeah. I'll take that. <laughs> I'll take that. He's the planner. I'm kind of just go with the wind. So, so. The first few places that we're gonna go is going to be Midwest yeah. um, because it's summertime, so we wanna enjoy some of the beautiful areas that are up in like near Chicago, Madison, Wisconsin, and Minneapolis. So we're probably gonna start at maybe our first real stop, maybe we'll be outside of Chicago, then Madison, then Minneapolis. So we're thinking those are gonna be the first three stops that we're yeah. gonna go. Um, guys, we only have one day left before we leave, so it's pretty crazy that we're like, we're kind of going here, but anyways, Chicago, we really want to see, we're going to be driving right by it up that way, so I want Summer to see the bean and all the cool things. I want to see the bean the in bean Chicago, yeah. It's going to be awesome. So I think we should stop in, in Chicago and spend at least a day there. Yeah, it's, Keith has an aunt in Illinois area, mm -hmm. right? So, yeah. yeah, we're just, we definitely aren't planning because... 
I mean, for me, I just want to experience it as we go, slow down a little bit in life. We have like destinations we definitely want to see, but yeah. not like, okay, we have this RV park or this place that we're staying at. So we're kind of just like going with the flow with it. And then if we like see that that's not working, then we'll definitely have to like do a little bit more research. Yeah, we're going to learn definitely along the way. So you guys will learn with us, but, but I think those are the first ideas of spots we want to go. <laughs> Um, and then we might find some cool towns along the way. You never know. Like yeah. we might find a really neat little town and say, hey, let's spend a day here and check it out. But yeah, someone mentioned go to all the really small towns, go to the festivals and look at those. So those are some of the places. I don't know. We still have to get like a map and yeah. look for all the little cute towns. So yeah, so that's the plan, guys. Those are the first three places. And then we want to make our way west and check out all the beauty in the Pacific Northwest and hopefully accomplish a lot of really cool places before it gets cold again and yeah. the temperatures drop. We don't want to be where it snows. We, no. <laughs> when it snows. <laughs> no, we may we may go travel somewhere that's like near snow and we could drive up to it and do some yeah. skiing or something, but I don't know about like parking the RV in the snow yet. Yeah, I don't Probably not a good idea for a few months. <laughs> Probably not gonna happen. No. <laughs> it's too cold. Okay, next question. Let's see, what are you most looking forward to and least looking forward to living in the RV? Mm. You wanna start? <laughs> so the things I'm looking forward to is less space, less to clean, and just spending more time as a family. I think the least thing that I'm looking forward to is like the mechanical issues and like a flat tire and all the things that could go wrong but I'm mostly looking forward to having like a small quaint space and it looks smaller on camera like I wish all you guys could see it in person because it is actually bigger in person if mm. that makes sense right I don't know yeah it's it's got more it has more space than I expected yeah but I'm mostly looking forward to it all like mostly just the journey of it and even though we know there's gonna be hard times I'm looking forward to finding ourselves and navigating through the hard times together as a family so yeah I would say the thing I'm looking most forward to is seeing the look on the kids face when yeah. they see these new places and and even like looking at you and seeing your reaction when we see some of these places I think something like that for me is going to make it all worth it. It's just that experience. Are you trying to make me cry right now? No. <laughs> and I love you. I love you. The thing I'm not looking forward to is exactly what Summer said. <laughs> I am not looking forward to, you know, something bad happening. To and Keith RV. has really, really awesome luck with flat tires. He's like the king of flat tires. So at yeah. least he knows how to change them. So there will be some flat tires, I'm sure. But we have to remember it's part of the adventure and it's part, part of, of the, the journey. Experience. And yeah. Yeah. The days when we know we have to travel when maybe we don't feel like. Right. Like, we haven't thought about all of that, right? Like, there's gonna be days we wake up where maybe we're sick, but yeah. we have like a stomach bug. But I feel but like. But it's our last day. But I feel like, in that sense, like, even if you live in a house, like, yeah. even if it's like 3,000 square feet, like, we're going from 1,700 square feet, some days the house just seems so small. So, yeah. I don't know. I don't really feel like. Like, you can get sick in a house. So, I don't think it's gonna be that different. Like, I don't know. It'll be different. <laughs> It'll be <laughs> totally different. <laughs> It'll be different, but same. But, but, awesome. but yeah. Right, okay. What else? Let's see. So another one. Let's see. Okay. How are you going to potty train Hannah? <laughs> so I thought this was a good question because she just turned one, and we've said that we're gonna live in the RV for at least a year. So she'll be two by the time the year comes up. And I haven't really thought about potty training, but I know that the other girls, when they were ready they were ready so I feel like it's the same thing as a house you know we have a toilet and we have the great outdoors so I don't know I think when it comes to that time we'll share that with you guys but I don't think that I'm worried about potty training or anything no I think we're like once we get closer to that time yeah then we'll start figuring out what we can do maybe put like a, a kitty potty in yeah, or something just put like. it outside let her go to the bathroom <laughs> <laughs> just kidding <laughs> you would not do that a porter potty she's she acts like she's like all in the nature and, and then I know her oh you will not be like just go out no earlier I was changing Hannah's diaper in the house and since it's been raining like all the little cockroaches like to come inside and and it's not like our house is infested or anything, but this one was crawling. I was like, oh no, get it, get it. He was like laughing. So yeah, Nate, I'm kind of scared for the nature part <laughs> and the fun. bugs. All right, next question. Let's How did you downsize on toys and clothes and where do you plan on storing all the clothes? So I think we're gonna do a video on how we organize the RV because we're still trying to figure that out. So we'll definitely share that with you guys after we have it all organized and 
but I feel like with toys and clothes we donated a bunch of clothes that had like stains or that were too small for the girls and I don't know like we didn't downsize too much on the kids clothes but for Keith and I we kind of like simple pieces pieces that are very we know, like we versatile downsized a lot. yeah we donated yeah. a lot and whatever we wanted to keep for like keepsakes or memorabilia, all of that stuff is in the second car that we have. Yeah. So the second car, our goal was to fit everything that we can fit. And it's a compact car. It's like a little a Corolla. 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 <laughs> yeah. It's a Toyota Corolla and we basically packed that and we're storing that car during our travels and whatever Keith, we can fit in Keith there. Keith is more sentimental than me about like certain things yeah. and the girls too. But we told him, you know, if, if it's been sitting in the closet or a basket, you know, we got to donate that. Another child can play with that. And some of the toys that they didn't want to get rid of, but we weren't going to bring into the RV, we're like, we're going to put it in storage in the car. And then in a year, you get to play with it. And like, they're, they, I don't know, I feel like they're not like attached to like certain toys, but some things they are. So it wasn't really that hard to downsize. Yeah, except for Pres Presley was yeah. like, yeah, last night uh, we were packing up one of her packages of toys <laughs> and she had this little stuff in the corner and she walked up she was like this does not go in the car in storage this comes in the RV she's like and she shook her head she's like in the RV she said I think it we had she's to like, downsize <laughs> more than them so that they had more space which yeah. is totally fine with me I'm I'm like I have a few leggings and shirts that I could just roll up and we each have our own little corners and spaces in the RV which is really cool yeah. so we made it seem like it's our home like so they have their spots and we have our spots and that's the greatest thing is that you can make any like space like yours you know yeah do you plan on doing any meetups or meeting any of our fans or we don't like to call you guys fans your family so anyways do we plan on meeting you guys so yes we really want to meet you guys let us know like we don't know how we're gonna do it yet but yes we really want to meet you guys I think that would be mm -hmm. so cool yeah, so we have a few announcements coming up really yeah. soon, and but I think we absolutely want to try to connect with you guys out on the road. We're not sure if we're going to do meetups and do like a group meetup thing, or you know if we're going to do different. different come to ideas lunch with ways. us, or yeah. come to the park. I think that that would be so cool. We, we have some ideas of things we want to do too. Of course, you know, there's other people we've seen do this, and we love it. But really, just encouraging people to get outside, encouraging you guys to. You know, get outdoors, be active, be healthy, and connect with friends and family and community. I think that's ultimately what we're going for. So yeah. I think once we get out on the road and get used to that routine, then we'll figure out like, okay, how can we incorporate meetups and time with our groovy family out on the road? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so are you ready for the big, this is the juiciest question, I think. How are you gonna work? And how are we gonna make money on the road? And did you leave your job? <laughs> no. So I love this question because it is something that I Google and I research all the time. Like, how do you make it? How do you survive traveling? And I'm, I do. It's almost obsessive. Like, I'll, I'll admit it. Like, I'm always trying to figure out ways that people, you know, earn a living and travel and get to do things that they really love. And so for me, I actually work at a company and I work remotely and I've been there now a few years. If you guys have been following our vlogs, it's the same, you know, same job. Yeah. And uh, I'm able to work remotely and yeah, I'm gonna work on the road. So anywhere where there's internet connection or I can connect to the internet is gonna be a good thing for us. So we're gonna be focused on everywhere we go during the week, there'll have to be internet connection. And then on our weekends, we're gonna go do our adventures and go do fun stuff. And then Summer and the girls will do stuff during the week while I'm working Yeah, too, we'll so. be having fun during the week. Yeah, <laughs> just so kidding. Just, that's gonna be so hard for me. I won't do, I won't go to the Grand Canyon or anything without you. I would I probably would discourage that anyways. <laughs> I'll be that mom with the, the backpacks with the leashes. <laughs> like a stroller the like Don't go on the edge. A strollers like rolling down the hill because she's not looking for a second. Or... We'll be in the news headlines. Mom with four kids falls off the Grand Canyon. I'm just Jeez, kidding. Jeez, that's so dramatic. This is a family I'm just vlog. Kidding. You guys get the point. Oh. So to answer the question again, I work remotely, so I'm going to be working on the road. And of course, we're going to keep trying and working to build our YouTube community and um, some other things. We have some neat announcements coming up. So yeah, we're really excited. <laughs> we hope to make this work as long as possible and just enjoy the experience as a family because I think this is going to be one of the most memorable times of our lives. Oh, Maybe? that was another Besides question. when we had kids, of course. But. Yes. 
But that was another question, how long we're gonna live in the RV too, but. I just don't think we can answer that. Yeah. Right, so the answer, so the question is, how long do we plan on living in the RV? I think it's going to be as long as we can comfortably do it. Or we said a year initial, initially, yeah. <laughs> initially, initially, but I don't know. I don't know if like a year is enough to experience everything we want to experience. Or maybe we're going to be like six months in and we don't like it. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, so part of the planning that we didn't do, and I was thinking about it now, is if we would have left at the beginning of summer, yeah. like planned it so we were gone by the beginning of summer, then we would have had a whole summer to like explore the north and then we could come down and have time to maybe even hit the, Pacific, or the northeast. Yeah. But um, I think next year what we'll probably want to do is if we do the whole northwest, We'll probably want to do the Northeast at some point, go up to yeah. like Vermont and New Hampshire and all those cool yeah, places. Yeah, we're a little bit bummed that we missed like all the summer activities, but Peyton was in the year-round school, so we had to wait until she was done, which yeah. it was the beginning of July. So summer was halfway done, and then we had family coming, which their trip was already booked six months ago. Yeah. So it kind of delayed us from leaving, which is totally fine. We're still going to make it work. And I think summer still has like a few more, like a month at least, right? Yeah, we'll, we'll have about like or a, a few month. Weeks. <laughs> but what's cool is like soon as the end of August hits, then the RV parks clear out a little bit. Yeah. And all the travelers start to go back home because it's school starting. So it might be a good so, time for us anyway. So it might actually work out to where it's going to be easier to find space. Yeah. So we got to look at the positive. Yes. But that's it for the Q&A, guys. We wanted to answer as many questions as we could in this vlog, but I imagine we're gonna have more because there's gonna be more questions. <laughs> we have, have a lot of questions. We have a lot of questions and we couldn't get to them all, but I think we're gonna do maybe a part two or we're gonna do one after we're in the RV. So maybe as yeah. you guys are watching these vlogs, you're gonna have new questions or you may have the same questions. So we'll do another Q&A down the road right. on after we move in the RV. So this is before RV, like we have all these like, <laughs> You know, expectations and perceptions <laughs> of how it's going to be. Expectation versus reality video, maybe. <laughs> maybe we could do that. That would be, that's a good idea. I like that. Um, but that's it for today's Q&A, guys. We can't tell you how much we appreciate you being here and being a part of this experience with us. It's going to be a blast. And make sure to follow us on social, on Summer's Instagram, my Instagram, because we post a lot of stories and we're going to get a lot more active. And we're going to try to do some trying. lives in like some cool places that we're at, like where we're at. So make sure you're following us, so. Yeah, we can and we'll, interact. we'll have everything linked down below if you guys want to connect with us there. Yes. Cool. But thank you guys so much for watching our Q&A. Hopefully our answers answered some of your questions. <laughs> that was... But that's it for today's vlog, guys. One day left, we hit the road, so we need to get back inside, get back to all the things we have to get cleaned up and oh. get done. So much to do. Can we just have someone else do it? <laughs> Alright, we're dragging on the floor. Alright guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Stay groovy! I don't know why you're